In this video we are going to show you how to upgrade your software version 6.71 or previous to version 6.72n. First we're going to go over some differences between the in version of the software and the regular version. The in version uses a different disk management file system. This file system is great for high storage DVRs. You will need um, to, in order to use the file system, you'll need to format and rewrite your old hard drives with this new system. And in doing so, this will cause you to lose all your previously recorded video. And in order to keep your previous recordings, which is we're gonna, what we're going to show you how to do in this video, you're going to need to install new hard drives and record off of those from now on. And you will just be playing back from your old hard drives stuff you've already recorded. Now, the regular non end version of the software is fully compatible with older versions and uh, future versions that are non end, and you can upgrade without losing any, any recordings or installing any new hard drives. So, the purpose of this video is to show you how to upgrade from a non end version to an end version of the software while still keeping your previous recordings. Uh, you will need different hard drives. Um, to store your your new recordings and you want to keep your old drives in there as well so you can play it back from them you're also going to need um, the software bundles of your previous um, install and the software version of your cur of this new inversion install uh, we're going to be using version 6.71 as our previous install and upgrading to 6.72 in as our upgrade First, we're going to go to Disk Management to format our newly installed drives. You want to go to Start, right-click Computer, go to Manage, and then on the left you want to go to Disk Management. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and full screen it, and you'll be able to see um, the old hard drive here full of recordings. We're going to go ahead and leave that alone right now. And then down here you're going to see our new hard drive, unallocated and ready to go. So you're going to want to right click on this hard drive and go to new simple volume and just click next past the first window and this window you're going to select the size of your partition we're just going to leave it full which is the default value next and then this is where you want to assign the letter you want to do E or higher F is fine next um, you can choose the volume label a new volume or call it whatever you want you want to leave the file system as NTFS uh, we're going to call our volume new hard drive and you will also want to make sure perform quick format is checked and then hit finish and it's going to format now that that's done I'm gonna go ahead and close it we're going to go ahead and save our old DVR settings so we can import them into the new installation. Go ahead and open up 6.71 and go to menu, backup system parameters and you can just save it wherever you want and call it whatever you want. We're going to do settings. Uh, I like to put the date, 28th. Save. And we're good. And now comes the very important part. We're going to go to start. You want to go to computer, uh, C, and if you have a 64-bit operating system, you'll you'll see program files to x86. That's where you want to go. But if you have 32-bit operating system, you want to go to program files. So we're going to go to x86, hybrid NDVR. We're going to right-click it and go to copy. And we'll move that to my documents along with everything else. Paste. You want to open the folder up and find an application called Fast Player. We're going to go ahead and right click it, go to Send To, and Desktop Create Shortcut right there. We're going to go ahead and close out of this. minimize all of it and what fast player does is it allows you to view your previous recordings on the old file system so 
Uh, we don't have anything recorded for camera one. We have to move to camera 14, I believe. Let's see. Camera 14. And then you're going to see there's our old recording. We didn't have our camera set for NTSC, so it's flashing. That's our old recording. Go ahead and close out of that. Now we're going to go ahead and uninstall version 6.71. Going to start all programs, high run DVR server, uninstall, and that's going to uninstall the program. Should only take you a second. Now we're going to go ahead and uninstall the drivers. If you open computer management back up and go to device manager on the left, to find your DVR cards and go ahead and right click and hit uninstall. Um, we want to make sure you have delete the driver software for this device checked. Um, it'll only show up once on this driver and for the rest of your car drivers it shouldn't show up at all. So you want to right click uninstall this one. You might have to do it more times depending on how many channels you have. Now you want to right click your computer name. Ours is a DVR server. Yours could be different. It's right here at the top. Right click it and go to scan for hardware changes and your drivers will show back up. Um, they aren't going to be installed, we're just going to show you that the cards are connected. You want to go to upgrade, right click upgrade, browse, and then you're, we're going to find our way to the 6.72n folder. So we saved it in documents, 6.72. And then we're going to scroll to 6.72 in. You want to make sure you get that folder because if you install the other drivers, it won't work. Do in and click driver. And then you want to select the appropriate card operating system and architecture. Ours is HC3, Windows 7, 64 bit, which would be this folder. You can tell if you just hover your mouse over it right there, it'll tell you the full name. And we're going to go ahead and select it. OK. Next. It's going to ask us if we want to install it anyway. We click Yes, install it anyway. It's going to give you code 31. This just basically means that you need to restart your computer for the driver installation to take effect. So we're going to go ahead and install it for the rest of our cards um, by right clicking the computer name again and hit Scan for Hardware Changes. If you're running Windows 7, that should just be a great tool for auto-installing drivers. Now we're going to go ahead and install the actual program. So we're going to go back to our My Documents where we have it saved, 6.72 folder, 6.72 N. Make sure you install that version because we're upgrading to the N version of the software. Double-click the installer and then go to Next, Next, Next install. You should install correctly. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and allocate the space for recording. So E is blank because it's already full of your old recordings and E was our old hard drive, so that makes sense. It should be at zero. Or um, yours could be at 40. If it's 40, go ahead and zero out the new data package number right here on the right. That should be zero. and then we're going to make sure F is that appropriate number. Um, we're going to go ahead and take 10 off of it for the CD DVD buffer. So we're going to change 926 to 916 and hit create package. Should be relatively fast depending on the size of how much storage you have. should get a prompt that it handled it successfully. A 10 should be here, that's normal, that's your CD DVD buffer. And click exit and then finish. Now since everything is installed we're going to go ahead and restart the computer. Okay now that the computer's been restarted you're gonna see your cameras flashing red. It's because we haven't imported the the settings yet. So go to menu import system parameters and you want to navigate to and select the um, settings file you created earlier 
click open and that would close the DVR program to load the settings and then all you have to do is open it back up again and your DVR should be back to normal and recording. If you have any questions please visit us at edigitaldeals.net